What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Evan. I'm here with Sam, and we're going to show you how to use uh, Tatum's NFT marketplace smart contracts to sell NFTs, to sell our royalty NFTs, which pay out uh, royalties as percentages. You can do it to multiple authors. So, you know, if you make uh, some sort of NFT with a bunch of people, everybody can get a different cut of a different percentage. And we're going to show you how to sell these royalty NFTs using our pre built marketplace smart contract for an ERC 20 token. So uh, this is the this is the big video and uh, Sam is is ready to tackle it head on. So show us how it's done, Sam. Thank you, Evan. Hi, guys. Well, there's a lot of stuff ahead, but what we're, what we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to work with our on-chain marketplace contracts and how to sell NFTs for ERC 20 tokens there. And the NFTs are our royalty NFTs. So the royalty NFTs, as Evan mentioned, are the ones which are paying the royalty to the authors forever, and it's forced on the blockchain. And uh, we are gonna do a couple of steps today, but the first step is deploy the is to deploy the the marketplace contract, the chain of your choice. We are uh, working on the Matic testnet today, and in the deploy operation. The only thing you need to actually do uh, and, and think is how big the marketplace fee will be. The marketplace fee is a fee which is uh, which is paid for each of the completed trade, and the fee is transferred to the marketplace owner, and the fee recipient address is the address of the marketplace owner. It means if, if I'm selling NFT for one Ethereum and marketplace fee is 10%. I'm gonna sell the NFT for one Ethereum and I need to buy 0.1 Ethereum to the marketplace provider on top of that. So let's deploy the NFT contract. The result is a, is a transaction ID. We will get to it later. Right now we need to mint NFT and we are gonna use already, already deployed NFT contract of type provenance. Type provenance means that the percent royalties are available and you can you can use them. We are going to mint NFT to myself. We are going to mint create NFT number 200. And we are selling that for this specific NFT number 200, we will now receive the royalties in this ERC20 currency. This currency represents the chain link just a chain link token available on the on the polygon on the polygon Mumbai chain. And each time this NFT is transferred, we want to receive the royalty and we need to send the royalty to this royalty address in the chain link currency. So I'm defining the list of authors, so a list of royalty recipients who will receive 2% of each transfer. And if the royalty is less than 0.0002 chain links, you want to you wanna get paid the fixed price, the, the, the 0.002, never less. So if the person's royalty calculated from the transfer is higher than this fixed value, you will you as an author will receive the, the higher amount Otherwise, you will always receive 0 0.0001, never less. You can define multiple recipients of these cashback royalties, not only one. Right now, for simplicity, we'll just have one recipient. So let's just mint token number 200. If you want to create a new listing for this ERC20 token, you need to interact with the, with the marketplace contract we have deployed in the first step. So let's check out the let's check out the contract address which was which was creating created during the deployment. And we want to create listing on this marketplace. In general, there is a rule. If, if you are interacting with some smart contract, the contract address is always the address the smart contract you want to perform operation on. So right, right now we are performing the buy, the, the create listing operation 
on the NFT marketplace contract. So we need to put the, the marketplace contract address to the contract address stuff. We have mint the NFT number 200 and we want to put this NFT on sale. And we minted NFT 200 on this contract address. So when we are creating a new listing where we want to sell the NFT, the NFT address is the address of the NFT smart contract. We are going to sell token number 200. We are going to create listing number one. You can have two, three, four, five, one million. It depends on you and how big your marketplace will be. We are going to create a listing for the seven to one NFT, which means our NFT is ERC721. If the NFT we want to put on sale is for uh, is of type ERC1155, this should be set to false. We are telling that we are going to sell the NFT for 0 0.01 uh, chain link. So this is the price we want to receive. This is the address of the of the seller of the NFT, and to this address, the 0 0.01 chain link will be sent. And we are create listing for the ERC20 asset, which is chain link. You can't have listings for another ERC20 address, as is the cashback, as is the ERC20 royalty address. So the NFT should be paid with ERC20 address chain link and the, the, the relatives will be paid in chain links. So the marketplace listing must be again done in chain links. You can't create listing of this NFT for Matic or USDT or USDC, whatever. The assets must be the same. So we have created the listing. And right now we need to create like three approves in general, in blockchain, you can't transfer asset from someone else, from, from someone else's address. You can just do this. For example, me as a marketplace, I want to grab NFT from, from user A. I want to grab some chain links from user B, and I will just transfer it. You can't do that unless you, as the owner of the assets, allow the marketplace to do so. So right now, what we need to do is we need to allow the NFT marketplace to transfer the NFT once there's a buyer. And from the buyer perspective, we need to allow the marketplace to transfer the, the chain links to the seller. Without that, the marketplace can't perform these transactions and the listing won't be, won't be successful. So what we need to do right now, we need to approve the NFT to be spended by the marketplace. So we have, a, this is the address of the marketplace. So the token number 200 of this NFT contract address will be able to, will be transferable by the marketplace. So you as owner of token number 200, allows this guy, the marketplace, to transfer your NFT. Another approval, for, but from the different side, is the buyer approval. Right now, after create listing and approve NFT, your listing is in a correct state on the, on the blockchain, on the marketplace, and you can put it public to your website wherever you want. And there could be anyone, any buyer who can just buy it from you. So right now I am the buyer and I want to buy NFT from the, from the listing number one. So I want to buy NFT from listing number one. I want to buy it from this contract address from the marketplace. And I want to buy it for chain links. But I haven't done anything. I haven't approved the marketplace to transfer my chain links. So if I hit send right now, the operation will fail. You don't have enough allowance, in enough allowed balance to be paid for that NFT. So before that, you need to approve as a buyer that your chain links could be transferred uh, 
could be could be transferred by the marketplace. And you as a buyer, you need to approve the your chain links to be transferred by the NFT contract as well. This logic is slightly different from the from the uh, royalty NFT for for native asset for Matics. In ERC20, the buyer buy buyer pays the royalty. In the Matic case, the seller pays the royalty. There is always one side which must pay the royalty. For Matic, it's the seller. For the ERC20, it's a buyer. So you as a buyer will have to pay the royalty and you need to approve the royalty to be spent by the, by the NFT contract. So right now we have all the data correct and we can create the ERC20 token. So let's check out this transaction. What should happen here is that NFT will be transferred from the seller to the buyer. The chain link will be transferred from the buyer to the marketplace fee recipient. The chain link will be transferred from the buyer to the, uh, to the seller. And the chain link will be transferred from the buyer to the royalty recipient. So there should be in total four transfers. And we can check them out. We can see that the NFT was transferred from the seller to the buyer. The buyer has paid the seller the price for the NFT, which is 0 0.01. The buyer has paid the marketplace fee, which is 2.5%. And the buyer had to pay the, ro the royalty to the royalty recipient as well. In this case, it was, zero it was 2% of the price. So everything was done correctly and everything was settled as it should. We can get the details of the we can get the details of the of the listing. We can see that there was a buyer. There's a listing for for chain link currency, listing in state one, which means sold for the price. And this is the seller, and we have sold token number 200. So thank you guys. We have gone through all of that. Thank you all. Great. Thanks, Sam. That was a marathon. So um, yeah, be sure to check out the other videos uh, that we have down in the links below on how to do exactly what we saw here for the other cases, meaning how to do it with external NFTs, how to do it with external NFTs for your C20s, and how to do it with royalty NFTs for native assets. So thanks again for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.